Hi, welcome back to the Price Action Analyst YouTube channel. Just wanted to do a quick update on Citigroup. Uh, the last video I did, I explained why I wanted to get short here. Uh, just quickly recap for you. So um, price had broken up out of this um, slight uptrend, but there was I was expecting selling pressure or resistance into these gaps and this previous high. In addition, price had stepped outside of the Bollinger Band and you had a um, bearish candle open there and closed down there. So you already had evidence of selling pressure as price moved up into that area and stepped outside of this Bollinger Band. And so I believe the day I entered short was, it looked like that. And as I mentioned, what, what I had going against me in this trade was, um, this was strong, strong upward price movement into this area. But uh, to me, there were too many factors or it was too tempting to get short. So anyways, we're two days into this trade and we did get selling pressure. Price has come back inside of this Bollinger Band and it's pushing down here. So the way I've structured this trade is I bought a put a put option here. Um, and I think I paid 290 for it. And I have a an exit order sitting there at 520 which should be like 80% profit. So I'm not, I'm not asking too much of it. And uh, when price was down here today, the option was worth 460. So I'm just, I'm not gonna expect price to like push through this gap. I'm expecting to see buying support as it, as it comes to close this gap here and you're already seeing it. The market's still open. Right now it's 1130 roughly. Um, so you're seeing buying pressure and I'll just go into the intraday charts. These are the five minute bars. So price open today there and it's pushed down and it's now moving back up. So I have the option to exit the option for a profit here, but I want to try and let it hit my my target exit of 520. So what I'm hoping now, we've had this downward momentum, we've got this um, less strong upward momentum. So I'm hoping price will just roll over here and uh, I'll be watching when it gets down here because you're gonna see some buying pressure, but depending on what it looks like, um, I'm hoping it'll push through here. And Here's the gap here on the intraday. So if price can just get down here, um, I'm either gonna get taken auto out automatically. Again, it was 460 here, so hopefully it'll be 520 here. But uh, on second thought, what I'm gonna do is if price gets down here, if, it's, if I'm not taken out at 520, I'm just gonna exit at whatever the price is. So if it was 460 here, it should be very close to $5 here. And so, um, I paid 2.9 and I'm looking to exit for 5, 5.2. So again, the market's still open. I'm just watching here to see hopefully that the price rolls over. Um, it could continue up here, but I'll just keep my eye on it. So just going back to this chart, Um, I just want to emphasize again, this is a short term trade. You know, I'm not entering this trade with an expectation that price rolls down here, even though that's a possibility. This is a very short term trade. So in this area, because of the factors I've mentioned, I've identified it to with an expectation that I would see selling pressure. And that's exactly what you've seen here. Don't need a lot. 
Again, I only need price to go from here, which was 61 down to about 55 and a half. So, you know, five to six dollars um, for that option to work. So that's, you know, that's all I'm, I'm looking for there. But um, this sort of stuff, these gaps are reliable areas where you will see selling pressure just like you've seen today. The question is, is it, is it going to be enough or not? So I just thought I'd do a quick update on that. Um, if you like this video, please like, like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, if you want to, in the comment section, let me know if there's something you'd like me to have a look at. Um, by all means, just let me know in the comment section. And if I can see it on one of my chart packages, I'm happy to do an analysis and give you an opinion. Thanks a lot.